but you can use it If you don't have a free use You can jam it in your hoop it Put it in and just ride, 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 ride. What is up guys? It's Jess here You guys here again? So as you guys can see, we're sitting in front of the Cadillac today and she is officially gonna lose her virginity. So I went ahead and picked up some new parts from ZZ Performance and I'm gonna be doing a quick little install on those parts today. It should be quite easy. So it's quite cold out here and uh, it's quite windy. So if the audio quality isn't the best, that's why. So just gotta speak up a little. Yeah, we're hoping for a non-windy day and out here where we live it's a little rare occasion yeah so it's windy and it's cold it's december december so it's a little cold i haven't seen what's in here just in case that says anything it shouldn't uh so we got some v bands i think these are called or something of that sort and to start off uh i went ahead and picked up a bigger throttle body uh, so the throttle body on this car is quite small for the actual intake manifold inlet so I I picked up a new one uh, this one is quite bigger I think it's like three or four millimeters bigger and then to follow that up let me see the uh, back of it it's cool to follow that up I also bought I believe this is called a charge pipe because I don't have their intercooler set up yet so if I would have bought the intercooler set up this would have came with that but since I don't, uh, I went ahead and picked this up as well. This goes attached to this over here, the throttle body. So underneath, uh, I went ahead and picked up a actual cold air intake. So let me do this boxing. So I picked up this new cold air intake by ZZ Performance. Um, we have the shield here. This is the actual uh, tube. It's has a really nice finish excited to get this on this is where the math is going to go connected sounds optional uh no i think you have to run it oh. and here is going to be the actual cone i mean i'll unbox it just so you guys can see what it looks like if you're in the market for this oh no oh, the blade, though. Oh. Is oh, <laughs> here's the cone. Who's the cone by? Uh, it's ZZ Performance. It looks just like a cane, and <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's ZZ Performance. it looks good quality, is what I'm saying. That's cool, that's nice. So, we also have a coupler here, and then the actual shield itself. few more of these and here's the shield this is what's going to go above the cold air intake and yeah it should should give me all the noises that I want so I also did pick up something else but that's for another video so we're going to go ahead and get this in it should be quite simple we'll show you the install if you're in the market to do this yourself just to give you guys an idea this is what it looks like stock stock air intake box so this is what i'm going to be replacing this here as well as this the throttle here. body and the this is a charge, charge pipe. pipe and then right here is the cold air intake it's going to basically remove all of this factory stuff all right guys so we're going to start off on the cold air intake side uh so just starting off you need a ratchet or a wrench whatever you feel like or a using. fancy but, drill too. <laughs> yeah we're just using this because it's convenient so we're going to go ahead and get this band or whatever you want to call that so we're not mechanics by any means so if we don't use the right car knowledge that is why I'm not claiming Our to apologies be, we're not claiming to be mechanics but we try to do sorry we don't, we're not certified better. and we don't have a uh, certificate that says we're certified but but so, we are uh, you know learning from our garage so you want to take this map off so there's a little red clip that you're gonna to have to pull back here and then there's an actual little button and you simply just pull it right off and then this will come out as well you want to have to just put that to the side make sure to plug that in not leave it in your fan like I just did but after you do that this should pop right off 
and then you want to remove this breather hose so the way you remove this is you simply make this little lever go to the to the right technically for me your left and you simply just pull it off like that and you'll be able to get this off as so so this is what we're going to be removing after you have that tube removed you're going to go ahead and just simply tug on this there's like three grommets and it should come right out like that and you want to go ahead and just put that to the side you're actually going to have to reuse this math so make sure not to throw that away something to know something that i just noticed uh you have to reuse these grommets right here so if you can see there's one two and then there's one missing i wanted you guys to know that you had to reuse that so make sure you go back to your stock air box and remove the grommet that's located right here if it gets stuck you might not experience this issue but just letting you guys know put it as so and the stock box, I mean the new box should be able to go right in. So I did know that there's a little bit of oil in here as well as inside the intake. Um, I'm not sure what would cause that. I don't know if it's like blow by. I'm not really experienced with turbo motors. So I gotta start researching more now that I have a turbo motor, so. Someone on YouTube will tell us exactly, yeah, what, it exactly what it was. Thank you YouTube, appreciate it. They're gonna tell me that it's about a blow up. <laughs> That's like the most unsatisfying looking turbo. <laughs> It's like small and like an orange. We also did know that it kind of looks like a Miata motor. Yeah. From like. It looks like identical to a Miata. Motor. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a 1.8 and like the whole valve cover here looks identical. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna use a Torx 20 to get the map out. Oops. You're gonna reuse those bolts, right? I think they supply new ones, so I might. Oh yeah, they're on top of those. So something to note from my error. Uh, if you're gonna be doing this yourself, uh, you want to go ahead and actually slip this tube through this shield because if not, you won't be able to actually get the map inside. So that's something to note. You also want to make sure you use you put this in correctly because there's a little error there. Uh, it has to follow the air path of the air. Go ahead and put the cone on. So this is how much room I'm having to put this MAF in with. I mean, that's not the greatest thing. I heard a clip. MAF is in. Now I gotta remove my hat. <laughs> so the first one clipped. Pretty sure that'll click. And the one down there already clipped. So. It ain't going nowhere. Wanted to go on their straights. So we got the colder intake installed. Luckily they do have like little instructions in the box and if you have a little hiccup you could go ahead and sort to those or those. Or the internet. Sure. But we're gonna go ahead and install the throttle body. body and the charge pipe. It might be a little complicated. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to remove this right here. But I'll figure it out. It's a trial and error. We are a mechanic, so we just, we just go with the Alright, so a quick little note, if you're gonna go ahead and remove your throttle body, you wanna move this actual like little end of it to the side, and it'll allow you to get over this little ripple right here. 
and you can just simply pull it off and then you want to go ahead and loosen this as well. I couldn't actually get any uh, like a little socket on there so I just used a flathead. So to remove this sensor you're going to want to pull this little part up. Uh, it originally goes like this but you're going to want to go ahead and pull it up all the way and then it, the sensor just comes straight out. This is going to give you a hard time. I just struggled here probably for like 10 minutes trying to take this out. So this is really tight around this actual pipe, but once you get it out, it's out. So these bolts ended up being 10s to the throttle board. So there's four 10s right here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and remove this sensor. It just, the, the, the same thing. Uh, Pretty sure it's a, what, the throttle positioning sensor? Probably. And then it's just the same thing. You pull this out and then it allows you to pull the sensor out. Voila, it's out. Camera dies, I'm sorry guys. Yes. Let's do a quick little comparison between the two throttle bodies so you guys can see the difference between the new and the old. So I think the actual difference would be in the back where the inlet is bigger on this one, if you guys can tell off the camera. Oh yeah, I can tell. On the That's camera, I don't bigger. know if you can, but that one's bigger than this one, like all around, right there in the circle. So you're gonna wanna remove the sensor that goes onto the OEM charge pipe and transfer it over to the new one. We're a little confused as to how it's supposed to go first, but it goes straight onto it like this. You just have to give it a little bit of pressure and it goes straight it's got like an O-ring on the side, so it, just, so it holds on. Yes, you can see it right there. It's gonna go like that inside there. And then you put back the they supply you with a new... No, this is the OEM one, which is like tiny, like a little tiny thing. And now the one they're using there is thicker and just looks like... Beefy. More, yeah, it looks beefy. What is up, guys? So we couldn't show you guys the end of the install just because the camera ended up dying. Uh, we recorded a lot of footage, so that is why. But the car is finalized now. Uh, it has the new throttle body as, long, as well as the charge pipe and the cold air intake right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and actually move it out the way because now we're gonna be working on this thing. And yeah, uh, I actually took off the heat shield because I have a down pipe that I'm gonna be doing an unboxing to the next video. Uh, I'm not be able to do that right now because I actually do have to raise the car. And uh, Cadillac made a weird like system where you have to pick it up. So I have to buy some hockey pucks to be able to pick it up appropriately. But for right now, I'm gonna just turn the car on and let you guys hear what it sounds like. So I do gotta admit my battery for my controller has been dead for a while. And I've been resorting to actually put the key in to this slot back here. I do gotta go buy a new battery. But yeah, here's a, here's a cold start. Hasn't been turned on for like a week. Definitely just quiet down right now, so I wonder what's to come. God damn, that was the lo loudest like. <laughs> oh my god. So now you can actually hear the bypass valve. Wait, let me hear it again. <laughs> that is so cool. Definitely, that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy I actually ended up buying that and uh, made it with the actual downpipe. I'm sure it's gonna make just the right amount of noises but I do intend to actually uh, do a resonator delete as well as a muffler delete so that it actually sounds like a like a nice little turbo so right now that's gonna be it uh, I will be doing that downpipe video soon and yeah guys thank you